Irvin's is a Singapore-based company known for its salted egg snacks. Its products are now available in the United States, Asia, and Australia. And the company is looking to expand further, but says the strong Singapore dollar is becoming a price issue. It's getting much harder for us to talk to new distributors in new countries to accept the product for the first time. Because people who, people who don't know who we are, they see our snacks, it's already priced at a premium level. South Korea is one of the markets that Irvin's is targeting. In January, the recommended retail price for a small pack of snacks was 12 Singapore dollars, the equivalent of 10,560 Korean won. The cost now is 12,000 Korean won. While a strong Sing dollar makes Singapore produced exports more expensive, it also means that imports into Singapore are cheaper. But this might be tempered by mounting inflation. To some extent, having a, a strong Singapore dollar does offset a, a bit of uh, the uh, sort of like cost pressures from high imported prices. But at the same time, uh, firstly, you know, the, the, the prices of uh, these imported goods have gone up quite substantially over the past year or so. Some doubling, some tripling in, in, in their prices. At Irvin's, some of the key ingredients are fish skin and duck eggs. The company says the prices of these imported raw materials has risen. So the rise in the same dollar's value is not enough to cover inflation. Whenever Singapore dollar appreciates, you would expect that we, uh, as, as a purchaser, we would have more bargaining power to ask our suppliers to, uh, uh, you know, charge us less. But I think in reality, for this year especially, the inflationary pressures are just so, so large that all our raw material prices have gone up. Um, in fact, they've gone up at least an average of 10% or, or even more. For trade-reliant businesses, this means a twin challenge, rising inflation and a strong currency. Basically, what you can do against strengthening SGD, right? So the best thing that we could do, realistically, as a company, is we need to control our costs. You need to defend your margin. You need to be more productive, more efficient. How you can push the raw material cost. With the Sing dollar at or close to its record highs against many foreign currencies, the Monetary Authority of Singapore has been tightening policy since October last year to counter the surge of inflation. Typically, it's good for consumers, uh, given that a lot of what uh, is consumed in Singapore is imported. So a strong Sing dollar will help to lower the uh, uh, imported uh, cost. It will help to alleviate some of the inflationary pressures especially the imported ones, but perhaps uh, not being able to fully offset all the inflationary pressures that we have received so far. Global economic headwinds are also highlighting Singapore's vulnerability in the export sector. The outlook is turning a dimmer over the course of uh, next year, given the uh, drag from uh, lower growth as a result of central bank hiking rates to fight inflation. Uh, we have seen that with the Fed, we have seen that across uh, other major central banks as well. We also have challenges uh, from uh, the energy crisis on European growth, as well as uh, you know, bumpy growth in China due to the intermittent lockdowns and the uh, property downturn. All these are likely to pose challenges for Singapore's uh, growth outlook over the next uh, 6 to 12 months. Most economists believe that further tightening is in store if inflation in Singapore continues to heat up. And for investors, the strong local currency presents risks and opportunities. If the markets continue to expect for a fairly strong Singapore dollar, I think it may also make the exports of Singapore quite competitive as well. And I think there could also be some 
uh, volatility because uh, uh, investors are unsure that the, whether the Sing dollar will stay strong alongside the US dollar, uh, given the, the US dollar's uh, rapid advance uh, for this year. So it does create some uncertainty and some risk uh, in, in that regard. Although I think I see the effect as uh, mainly positive from elevating the important inflation impact. This is a boon for investors who are receiving Sing dollar cash flows, be they um, stock dividends or REITs distributions or rental income. Uh, foreign investors with uh, Singapore real estate will also find that the value of the investments have gone up because of the stronger Sing dollar. Of course, there are risks um, for equity investors in the Singapore market. I think they need to be aware that many of our Singapore corporates have diversified out of Singapore and they have revenue streams in other currencies, um, commonly the Australian dollar, um, the sterling pound and the euro dollar, and these currencies have depreciated against the Sing dollars. So there will be a negative currency translation effect when these earnings are um, reported back in Sing dollars. So I think this presents an earnings headwinds to the Singapore market. 